Hello guys. So now we shall be discussing some of the structures which are located on the transverse section. Okay. So on the transverse section, all of you know that this opening over here is called as external urethral meatus. Okay. From the external urethral meatus, you have got a structure called as glans penis. Okay. So from the external urethral meatus, you got a structure in this way, and this structure over here is called as the glans penis. Okay. And after that, this continuation like this is called as your urethra. All of you know that. Next important thing is that, and all of you know that here we have got the corpora, right? And uh, next important thing is, I think I have already explained this thing previously, right? But uh, for some few important structures I have to add on. So here, if you look, there is another important skin right what is the skin that is lying on the penis that is called as frenulum okay so here also you have got the skin in this way right so this forms your entire penis okay and exactly if you look this part over here right so this part over here is called as the frenulum of the penis what is this part this part over here is called as a frenulum of the penis this part over here is called as the frenulum of the penis frenulum of the penis and this part which is bulged out all of you know that this is called as the glans penis this is called glans penis okay and this part over here is called as a prepuce prepuce of the penis okay and just below the prepuce uh, this part if you can uh, figure it out this part which I'm highlighting right now with the green, right, or with the yellow. So this part over here, you call this part as prepucial sac. What is this sac called as? Prepucial sac. This is called as prepucial sac. And not to forget that this opening is called as external urethral meatus. External urethral meatus. So out of all these, all, almost all these parts are important, but the most important part which you need to remember here is frenulum of the penis. Okay. Why? Because this frenulum of the penis is a highly sensitive area. This is a highly sensitive area. Okay. Frenulum of the penis is a highly sensitive area. Next important thing here is that, uh, as all of you know, that this is a prepucial sac. Okay. Just beneath this sac here, we have got some special glands. See here we have got some red color dots you see. Right. So these red color dots are nothing but some special glands which are located in the prepucial sac. These glands which are located in the prepucial sac. These glands are also called as modified sebaceous glands. Okay. What are these glands called? Modified sebaceous glands. Now why am I calling them modified sebaceous glands? Because they release a a substance and that substance which is whitish in color and which is bad bad in smell that is called as the smegma okay so here in in the prepucial glands prepucial glands these prepucial glands they secrete something called as they are by the way they are also called as modified sweat glands or modified sebaceous glands modified sebaceous glands okay so they these modified sebaceous glands which are called as prepucial glands they release something called as smegma something called as smegma okay so it is because of this smegma it is because of not properly washing out the smegma you know smegma deposits every day right so not not every day obviously uh, every week there is a deposition of smegma you have to clean it every day so that you don't see it so let me show it to you. So this is the smegma. This white color deposition over here is called as your smegma. And what I'm telling you, especially for the boys, is the smegma deposition happens in the girls as well as in the boys. Right? So most of the boys, most of the men, right, uh, who are having a poor economic condition, low socioeconomic status, right? So they usually don't take care of their hygienic standards. So what I'm telling to you is that uh, for most of the people who are not taking their hygienic standard as a doctor, you have to suggest them to keep their genitals very clean. Okay, so that is your responsibility to take care of your patients. It doesn't mean that you go and clean the patient's genitals. What it means that you educate the patient on cleaning their genitals properly with 
there are some specific lotions there are some specific body washes which we use okay so if you use the specific body washes obviously this smegma won't be deposited so obviously when smegma won't be deposited the penile region will be completely fresh and healthy and obviously there won't be any kind of smell and there won't be any kind of urinary tract infections okay so this is all you need to know regarding the smegma part over here right so and by the way uh, what are the things we have discussed here this is very very small topic here by the way so one thing you have to remember is that the sensitive part in the penis which is highly sensitive is the frenulum of the penis okay and preputial glands are the modified sebaceous glands what are they they are the modified sebaceous glands and they release a uh, substance here this is called as your smegma okay this is all you need to know here so this is all regarding the transverse section of the penis so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye